guys welcome back to another youtube video where today we are going to cover everything when it comes to your niche now we have had so many questions about how to establish your niche what a niche is and what are the advantages and the disadvantages of actually niching down so if you're a service-based business owner an agency owner or a business owner that's just genuinely stuck then this video is going to be for you but you're going to have to excuse me guys because i'm feeling a little bit rocky with this voice but i have to show up because let's be honest social media and business does not stop when you get sick which is why I'm here today to still give you guys some volume. Now guys, I know that in the early stages, it can be so daunting when you're niching down. You can feel like if you niche down, you're gonna lose out on potential business, but I promise you that in the long run, if you start to niche down and really hone in on that audience, you will make more money. The way I see it is that if you actually niche down earlier, you're going to profit 10 times more because you're actually speaking to one audience and it's an audience that will convert if you do it properly. Take it from me, an experienced agency owner, that in the initial stages, I did try and take the one size fits all approach because I I was scared. I was scared that I was going to lose out on potential business if I didn't take on every single client that approached me. And you know what? In the end, it did come back to bite me because I couldn't cater to everyone. I couldn't cater to everyone in terms of services. I couldn't prove results and I had to discount my prices in the end. And it just didn't make much sense. So for all you know, you might be in a specific niche now where you're trying to actually cater to multiple people with different services, trying to cater to everyone. The moment one competitor waltzes in and they've niched down, you could potentially lose that client and that's not what we want so let's niche down and let's get into it so what is a niche 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 whatever it is that you want to call it whatever floats your boat but what actually is it so a niche is essentially an industry a service or just a type of client that you choose to work with so for example you might be an online fitness coach and your niche niche whatever it is might be that you help dads lose weight and even more than that it might be help dads lose weight that have recently had surgery that would be a niche where you have really honed in on the target audience that you're trying to work with, trying to create content for and trying to convert. One thing to not get mixed up is your target audience and your niche. So what I would recommend is if you're not prepared to niche down in the early stages, which I'm hoping you are because you're here now, then make sure to establish your target audience and to create content in line with them before niching down. At least then you know that you're actually creating content for someone that you aspire to niche down to in the end, but it just means that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. So how exactly do we establish our niche? So first Firstly, I want you to consider the demand, the demand for your niche in your industry right now. So firstly, I want you to ask yourself, is there actually a need or a demand for the services that you plan to offer to your chosen niche? If you're stuck on whether that's a yes or a no, I want you to research the market. And just because you might not necessarily find a demand doesn't necessarily mean that people aren't there looking for you. It could be that you choose a, a really honed down niche that no one actually specializes in. That means that when you decide to then obviously specialize in it, everyone will come to you. Or it might be that the demand is so high that you'll become saturated and your competition will be really really high but one thing to know here guys is that just because the competition might be really really high it doesn't mean that you won't make any money in that niche it just means that you need to create really good content that's going to stand out above all of your competitors next i want you to consider what are your skills and what are your expertise so when it comes to actually niching down it might be that you can niche down based on the skills and expertise that you already have at that time or it might be that you want to specialize in a specific niche but you haven't really got any idea or any skills that actually match that niche but that doesn't mean that you can't develop them you've just got to be willing to learn in them initial stages so if you can be passionate and you can say right I can designate two to three hours a day to learning how to actually provide a service to this niche then go for it but if you haven't got them two to three hours a day and you've been working a job role or you've got a business or you've got experience in a specific niche then choose to just work with that focus on your skills the expertise that you've got now and roll with it next is something I've already briefly touched on and that is competition but it is something that you do want to consider in the early stages question whether your niche is untapped if it's untapped as I said before it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's something you do need to consider because if the competition is really high have you got the time have you got the skills have you got the expertise to stand out and if it is untapped when no one is actually specializing in that niche in the beginning do you have the level of expertise to actually go for it to stand out and to dominate that market 
So guys, we've just covered there. We've considered the demand. We've looked at your skills and expertise, your passion, and also the competition. So now we need to look at the advantages and the disadvantages of niching down. So what are the advantages of niching down early? Because I know there'll be so many of you right now that are watching this going, oh, I just don't know if I want to make that step. But by taking that step, you will become an expert within your industry. What do they say? When you try and speak to everyone, you actually speak to no one. So if you actually niche down in the early stages and you start speaking at your target audience, then you you're actually going to speak to people that are going to want to put money in your bank account by targeting your audience you're not trying to target everyone and that means you're going to make sales and not only this by obviously focusing on one specific niche you are going to stand out amongst all of your competitors because you are creating content that resonates and targets your ideal client which means that you're going to stand out and you're also going to be able to scale your business but most importantly by doing this you're also going to be able to build deeper and stronger relationships with your clients because the more you work with them the more you're going to be able to understand their their pain points and their challenges and you're actually going to be able to resonate with them on a personal level. So guys I feel like I've said niche a million and one times but the reality is when you niche down you're going to allow yourself to stand out in a crowded market which also means that you're going to be able to offer specialist services that say your general competitors don't offer because you're going to be able to offer a unique perspective based on their pain points that other agencies and business owners just aren't going to be able to offer. As you can imagine there are also many disadvantages to obviously niching down. That isn't something I want to hugely focus on because as I said in the beginning when you niche down in the early stages or at any stage you will make more money in the long run it won't happen overnight but it will happen you just need to be consistent with it so what exactly are the disadvantages to niching down so as i mentioned earlier it might be that your niche has got a limited market which will limit the potential clients that you can work with but obviously if you do your research in the beginning right that means that you're going to combat all of them issues but if you choose to work with someone where you've chose a niche that there isn't a lot of competition then you just need to be consistent with it so it's not necessarily saying that something isn't going to work, but I know it can be scary to say, right, okay, well, I'm going to lose out on potential business if I don't offer these services. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can't take that work on as well, but it just means that you can be more sporadic in a sense of saying yes or no, because you will get clients that will reach out to you. For example, with us, we get clients all the time that go, oh, do you do marketing? Oh yeah. Okay, well, can you do this for me? And I'll say, we don't really specialize in it. We've got no experience, but you set them expectations from the beginning. Now, there are obviously other negatives to it. There'll be stereotyping. For example, some people will just assume that you only specialize in a certain service when it might be that you do have experience in other industries or other niches, but you're just not speaking about it. So it means that you will potentially lose out on that business. Then you've also got, say, change in market demand. It might be that something changes where you need to introduce a new service, but it's going to be really difficult for you to introduce it without readjusting the entire business to be able to offer a new service and that might confuse things as well and then another thing that you can think about is say competition say if you go into an industry it's really competitive there's so many people there and you're worrying about how you're going to create that room you have to create that room because no one is going to move over for you. So guys, I hope that you've loved this video and I hope that it's really helped you niche down. Now, if you are still struggling, don't panic. Make sure to click the link in the description below and join the new era community group. Each week we hold live Q and A's, we've got sessions, we've got workshops, anything that you need to help you with business, social media, mindset, Everyone in that community is the same as you. They're all there to succeed. They're all there to get their questions answered and to actually make their business grow. So if you're looking to scale, make sure to get in that group and come and join the community because you don't want to go about business on your own. And it's amazing to be in a business and a community full of like-minded individuals that you can network with as well. So guys, on that note, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But remember, the key is to choose a niche that aligns with your own skills and interests and make sure you're passionate about it and the money will start to roll in. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.